it can cover your burners and you can use it for food prep. It can cover your sink. It can do just about anything you need it to do. You you have fat on your stove, you have grease going. Yeah. Put this next to it. It's a lot easier to clean this up than it is to clean up your burners. I love the fact that I have this over my microwave so when my hands are burning with hot things, it goes right on this tempered glass and I don't have to worry about it. I love it. How about this new pattern today? So cute, I can't even stand it. And you've seen this on They're In the gorgeous. Kitchen with David before, but you have never seen this pattern before because it's new today, it's gourmet fruit. How cute is that? And all of you that have, we have talked about it in the chat, and you've said, I don't have a big kitchen. I don't have this a lot of saved. counter space. Now you have more counter space. Is that not the smartest? This was yes. the... This solves so many things that you don't even know you need solved until you get it. It's just incredible. I love the deep feet on this, and that's what Ooh, makes it so great. Yeah, show me the feet. And look at how deep these are almost two inches, and that's what makes it so flexible. So you're able to put it over your gas burners or your electric burners, and you have no worries. It works so well. But all of a sudden, you have so much more entertaining space, serving space, workspace, and that's what we all need in the kitchen. I don't care how big your kitchen is, we all need more space. Well, and it's more affordable, $25.92 than to renovate your whole kitchen. Coming up in less than 10 minutes. A lot less in renovations, so good is. point. Now, David is headed into Cookbook Corner, but I promise he'll save space for some of your mac and cheese. That would be lovely. We, we made it just for you, David. Well, ladies, I'm tickled about that, but right now we're going to head into the cookbook corner, but I don't think we're going to stay here long because already 1,000 of you have decided to take the southern route. We're going to bring you a book today that is brand spanking new. It features 100 recipes inside, all from southern restaurants that only locals seem to know about. There are 10 southern states represented in the book. There are 10 recipes from each of those states. And the man that makes it all possible is someone that I envy because he's been to all of these places to eat all this good food. Ben Vaughn is the author of this great book. And for less than $20, you're going to have a tour of the South. And if any of you watched Wednesday night when we were in Chapel Hill live and we featured Mama Dip and her cookbooks that sold out, one of the recipes in Ben's book is from Mama Dip's in Chapel Hill. How about that? Let's bring in the man who makes this all possible. Ben Vaughn, come in here, sir. It's nice to see you. Thanks for having me in the Welcome kitchen. Welcome to QEC. It's a Thank pleasure. You, you know what? Here. You and I, I think, have the best jobs in the whole world because we get to eat for a living. We do. That's spend, a good thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely the best. I mean, I, I can't imagine any other way to spend an entire day as I spend it all day in the kitchen. Well, here's the best part about your book. You, it's 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 part recipe book, it's part travel log, isn't it? It's a journey. It's yeah. a journey, yeah. So I you visited all inspired. these great places. Yeah, How did yeah. you find the restaurants when you went into these towns and cities? I asked. Yeah. I mean, Google played a big big role. I'm in it. sure. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I asked. I asked the locals. I said. Well, you know, where would I eat if I wanted to eat like a local? Yeah. And they were, they pointed me. Where are the restaurants that only the locals know about, right? Right, exactly. So you've got a recipe in from Mama Dip's book in, the, uh, in here, which sold out the other night, and so we're thrilled about that, that you've got one right. of her recipes inside. But you also, how many of us saw the movie Fried Green Tomatoes? <laughs> and in that movie, I know, Cowabunga, right? In that movie, there was a little cafe called the Whistle Stop Cafe. That's a real restaurant, isn't it? Real place. And one of their signature uh, recipes are the sweet potato fries, and you got the recipe. And, and they're amazing. Here we go. Sweet, sweet potato, sweet potato, potato fries, fries from the Whistle Stop. Which state is this in? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Cowabunga, Mary! <laughs> Are those dusted with sugar and cinnamon? They sure enough are. No way! Yes, they are. Mary, you're going to love these. I know, because these are gluten-free, right, Mary? <laughs> yes, they are. It changed right. your life, yeah. So those are amazing. Secrets in the sauce. I'm kidding. All right, <laughs> no. Let's talk to you about pie. And down south, pie has a wide eye. Yes. Okay, pie. pie. That's okay. Right. This is peanut butter pie from, I believe, Alabama. Is it's that right? It's from Alabama. Tell me about the peanut butter pie. Opal Maze, peanut butter pie, Alabama is, it, it's, it's got a texture that's familiar and a flavor that you know, but it's done perfectly every no, time. No, wait, you said this is made by someone named Opal May? Yeah. I love it already. Are you kidding? <laughs> now, you talked to us about uh, texture, and there's also something interesting with the crust going on here. Tell us about that. Crust is a mix of peanuts. It, it, it actually has the peanut infused in the crust, so you get that kind of crumbly like chopped peanuts chopped in the crust. Chopped peanuts in the crust, yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay. worked up an appetite outside, uh -huh. didn't you? Okay, wait, <laughs> wait. Y'all need to back up, back up, unless you want to get something on you. Ready? Happy dance, peanut butter pie, from Alabama, Mary. All right, and there are peanuts chopped up in the pie crust. Right. Yum.
All right, po' boys. But these are not made with seafood. They're not. They're it's a traditional setting for a po' boy. Right. However, it has a beer battered fried chicken. Yum. It is outstanding in the thick cut bacon and the. What is the dressing? The dressing is kind of like a ranch but with a little <laughs> bit more <laughs> punch. <laughs> Think, uh, think ranch and hot sauce, mm -hmm. cracked pepper and garlic. Mm. I'm having the chicken. It is crunchy. Mm. The chicken is so tender, and that sauce is crazy. It ben, is crazy. Yeah. You are the luckiest man alive. You got to eat all these great places. <laughs> you got to you got to wear an apron and a long sleeve shirt to eat that sandwich. Mm. I need to wear a bib. <laughs> all right, now take a look in the book. Beautiful, beautiful photos. Easy to follow recipes. You're going to be right there with Ben as he journeys through 10 southern states and brings you these fantastic recipes. I will tell you, we're very busy on our phone lines. In fact, we've now taken orders for 2,100 books are gone and another 600 people on the lines all headed into the southern roots. We've got to go mac and cheese because you know I lose my mind over that every <laughs> single time. Where does this mac and cheese come from? This is Carlos and Rocky's Louisiana mac and cheese. And particular, it is one of my favorites because that coveted crust that you all want that's around the sides yes. and the bottom, yes. this thing has it all over because it's a slow, long bake. And Ooh, then you nice. finish it at high heat to get delicious crust. Okay, all right. The cheese is not only sauce like a bechamel, but it's also shredded. Right, so you get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. Ooh, hot like lava. You make a lot of friends with that kind of mac and cheese. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> Buckle up, kids. Here comes number two. Happy dance. Happy dance. Woo! That is crazy. Now, this is chocolate cream pie. Is it that is. right? Chocolate cream pie. Oh, man. Where's this Wonderful. from? This one is from uh, Alabama. No, this is actually from Tennessee. Tennessee. This okay. This is a Tennessee chocolate pie. Okay. It's a traditional pie, except she's been making it for like 40 years. And you so gotta you got to trust oh, somebody who makes man, pie for oh, 40 man. years. You better believe it. And yeah. this is grits and cheese casserole. Also from Tennessee, the Southern Star. And they've taken grits to a whole new level with sharp cheddar cheese. Yes. And are those herbs inside? Chopped herbs. They've got a little thyme, a nice. little salt, a little pepper, a little and garlic. And there's a crust on top, too. Oh, my lord, there is. Yes. You know what? I mean, come on. I'm just back from North Carolina, and I <laughs> ate my weight in grits. Mm. You all right? And hot. And they are hot. <laughs> really delicious, though. Oh, my word. These are amazing. Well, that warmed me up all the way down. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> but I will tell you, that's amazing because you get the cheesy crust on top, and right. then those herbs add so much to that. They kind of make it bloom almost. Mm. Like, this is what a great I love that word. Like. That's yeah. great. That's a great attitude. Tell us about meatloaf. This meatloaf looks succulent. This is from the Brown Derby. And Brown Derby is in uh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And there's a, such a cool story to the Brown Derby Please. because it has the restaurant and then there's a little building next to it that's shaped like a derby hat. Um, <laughs> and they said if they wanted to lose any weight in the summer, they'd put them out in the derby. <laughs> <laughs> because they just melt away. Well, um, these are the stories you'll read in the book, too, is, right? Yeah, every single one has a story. I love How it. a customer went to the restroom and asked the waitress to follow her with a brown paper sack, and then out comes her hand with her girdle, and she said, I needed to take my girdle off because I needed to eat dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, these stories good. are in the book. Amazing stories. And I'll tell you, now we've taken orders for 4,000 books are gone. I know we don't have a lot of these to go around. We didn't bring in that many. This is a great opportunity for you to get 10 recipes from 10 southern states and be a part of Ben's journey as he visited each one of them. Fried chicken that'll make you cry. What is this dip over here on the end? Crack corn dip? It's got crack uh, corn dip. Oh, it's. It, oh, wait, it, I have some back here. Sorry. Everybody brings it to a party, but it's actually a party maker. So it's it's sweet corn. Imagine the sweetest corn in the middle of summer. Uh huh. The texture of corn, and then you've got some cream corn, and you got some chilies, and you got some cheese. Oh my lord. Mary, I think you can eat this. Yeah, I need to be in it. Yeah, you need to be. You need to set up house in there. <laughs> it's definitely gluten free. Is what you need to do. Set up this house. is crazy, and it's so cheesy and so good, but the, the the layers of flavor are so balanced. They are. Oh my gosh, this is so good. We are super busy, and I dropped a spoon. All right, we brought in nearly 8,000 books. I have fewer than 2,500 books left, and I've got a thousand people on the phone lines. What are these sandwiches here? So the sandwiches come from a truck stop, and it's called Norma's. And it's the most unassuming sandwich you'll ever have. And it comes with pickles. Homemade pickles. Mm. The sandwich is wrapped in foil. Bread and butter pickles. And you see it wrapped in foil, and you think, this isn't for me. And then you eat it, 
and it changes your life. Mm. It makes the sweat on your top lip go, and it's, <laughs> it's a hot beef sandwich with cheese and pickles that's over the moon. I mean, Ben and I could be brothers. He's about my height. <laughs> We look maybe just a, just, just a shave alike. This is crazy. So many wonderful recipes inside, and we are super, super busy on the phone lines. We're down to our final 1,500 books to go around. Out of the 8,000 we brought in, and I have 1,300 people on the phone lines. This That's is shipping good, right? out. That's very good, That's my friend. Good. This is shipping out on the 15th of September, and there are 10 southern states represented here. And real quickly, this is lemon cake. This is something you have to try. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This Twist is, my arm. All this right. is a. This is a. You know, somebody told me you have the best food at church picnics, and 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 I have to agree because this lemon cake is a church picnic favorite. Mm. And I'm going in for extra icing. It's so good. It is. So it's a lemon cake. Lemony sheet cake. You make a huge one. The recipe is perfect for home because it's not to scale. But isn't it great? The consistency, texture. So, so good. And right. you know, you think about a sheet cake like this and you're thinking, yeah, it's lemony, but all the lemon taste will be in the frosting. It'll be kind of dry on the side. Right. No, it's not. No, no, it's no. completely moist and the lemon flavor goes all the way through the cake. Yep. Man, oh man, Ben, this is amazing. I wish I could spend a half an hour here not just eating good, good food, but hearing your stories, which are all in the book. There are 8,000 books we started with. I have fewer than 900 left to go around. Before we wrap up on this, I have a trivia question for you. Now, yeah. you may not know, we ask trivia questions. Okay. Of random guests to our show, they never know who's gonna get the question. Okay. So today I'm making microwave quesadillas in our microwave range mate cooker. So this has to do with microwaves. True or false? The microwave was a type of radar device used during World War II. True. It is true. During <laughs> World War II, physicists invented the magnetron, an electron tube that could generate microwaves and improve British radar systems, according to Wired. It was only after an engineer accidentally melted a candy bar that it was realized that microwaves could.